Welcome to a new video. So I thought that in addition to my cleaning videos, I will also start making one video a week where I show what I eat in a day because I have started like a new kind of diet thing. Not like, well, it's, I'll explain as the video goes along, but basically I, I'm going to be eating in a calorie deficit for a little while. So I will sh share with you more about that as this video progresses. But basically I'm gonna be showing you everything that I eat today and taking you along the way. So yeah. So I'm starting off the day with breakfast. I'm just gonna have a crumpet with butter and marmite. I also add some strawberries on the side and I have a coffee. I got this little kind of coffee tea bag thing from a hotel I stayed in with work recently and I just thought I would use that up. But I like to add fruit and vegetables to every meal where possible now. And that's something I didn't used to do. I feel like it just makes you a bit more fuller and also it's nutritious, like you should eat fruit and vegetables. I'm just wanting to kind of be in a calorie deficit because I have gained a few pound over a few pound a few pounds over the past few years and I just want to kind of get back to like my optimum fitness which was a, a few years ago when I did Alexandra's happy body plan if anybody remembers that and yeah I set my calories fairly low and it's probably not a good thing to be this low but I'm only going to be eating like this for a few weeks you know I'm not aiming to lose loads and loads and loads of weight and for me I actually find it easier to stick to like a diet when the calories are a bit lower when I see results quicker I don't know why I, I just if I set my calories higher and it's like a longer process I just don't have the motivation to do it but obviously, you know, I am going to make sure that I'm fine and that I'm not like too hungry or anything. But I think I should be fine with the calories that I've set because I have done this before. So I have done a workout. I will link the workout I did today in the description. Every day is different. But today, this is what I decided to do. I did a dance workout, a Dua Lipa dance workout. The person that made the video is called Mad Fit. And then I did another kind of five minute dance workout. I can't remember who made that video, but I will link both of them in the description if you wanna try them. Sorry, my rabbits are biting their cage. But yeah, that's all I've done. And I might go on like a walk this afternoon. So please excuse the noise of my rabbits making, um, chewing at their cage. I've been waiting for him to stop, but he hasn't. For my morning snack, I'm having a cup of tea with oat milk in it. I have oat milk instead of normal milk in cups of tea because I prefer the taste. It's kind of more creamy, um, but in coffees, I always have like cow's milk. And then I've got this. So I've got an Alpen light salted caramel bar which is kind of like a treat and then to make the snack a little bit more like more substance to it i've added in some cucumber and then some light kind of cream cheese it's like a garlic and chive cream cheese or something like that and that's only like 20 calories for the amount that i've put on here um so it's like it looks like a really nice snack to have but it's actually quite low calorie and it means that after breakfast i can look forward to this before lunch like it's not like oh i have to wait for lunch kind of thing and especially when i'm at work i um get more hungry when i'm at work than when i'm at home i am at home today though um can you please shut up no okay um don't worry they have literally just been running around like they they come out loads they're absolutely fine um they just like to be annoying and chew the cage um they do have chew toys in their cage as well so you know i think he just enjoys chewing the bars i'm gonna have my morning snack and tidy the house up so these are all the ingredients to make my lunch i'm gonna use a quarter of a pack of lemon and coriander couscous Sorry, that was really hard to say for some reason. I'm also going to poach an egg. I'm gonna add in some tomatoes, some pickled beetroot and some pickled gherkins and then a little bit of this kind of blue cheese as well. Um, obviously not everybody likes blue cheese but it's gonna be kind of like a salady thing but just like a, a small thing. 
So I kind of went for more of a light lunch because I like to kind of keep busy in the afternoon and if I have too much, I just end up feeling ill. But this was actually really tasty. Like I love like pickled things. I also had a chocolate from my dairy box and tracked that. And for an afternoon snack, I had a bagel with smoked salmon and cream cheese and a Pepsi Max and I went to my parents. So I thought that I would show the difference between my fitness pal and the current app that I'm using. So this is what my fitness pal looks like. Download it if you want to. This is just kind of what it looks like. I haven't used it in quite a long while. And then this is what the app I use. It's called My Net Diary. And I really like this. It has like the calorie goal that you have at the top for the day. It sections out your breakfast, lunch and dinner. And you can um, log in by just clicking on, for example, breakfast, typing in what you had. And I just like how this is and how it's set out. And it just, in my eyes, looks nicer. So I would recommend this app. So I am making my food for this evening. I have got in, I've tidied up, I've hoovered a little bit and I'm now making spaghetti. Now this isn't spaghetti bolognese, this is spaghetti with like a tomato -y sauce. Sorry about all the steam by the way. Um, but basically I really like just having like a plain kind of tomato -y sauce that I make from scratch with spaghetti and a tiny bit of cheese and I like how fresh the meal tastes so I'll show you like what I'm cooking now so this is the sauce and it's made using one uh, actually it's made using half a tin of tomatoes some basil some salt some pepper some garlic and yeah that's pretty much it I think and then I've got 60 grams of spaghetti in here cooking away I also bought this tray recently, which is super handy. Um, oh yeah, I prepped my pudding. I'm gonna have a five or one brownie and some ice cream, but I'll show you that after. Um, but yeah, I got 10 grams of cheese to go with the spaghetti. This is the kind of meal that I can pretty much eat every single day because I love pasta. Pasta's my favorite food and I like how fresh this meal tastes and I like how cheap it is, first of all, and how quick and easy it is and it's healthy. There's not like tons of vegetables or anything. It is quite a simple meal, but I did get like some kind of vegetables and things throughout the day, so I think it's okay. But yeah, so I'm gonna let this cook and I'll show you when it's done. This is the low calorie ice cream that I use. It is cookie dough ice cream from Morrison's. So I heated the fiber one brownie up in the microwave and then I've added the ice cream and this is my pudding. Oh my God, I nearly forgot. I forgot this last night as well. Raspberries, I'm adding in raspberries. I forgot this yesterday as well, so I had to eat them separately. Raspberries, it's because I don't normally eat that much fruit. So yeah, bear with me. So I have now added in the raspberries and yeah, I'm gonna eat this now before the ice cream melts. I'm gonna head to have a bath now, but I thought to just mention that I also do have water throughout the day as well. Um, I just didn't think to kind of mention it. Now I've added up all my calories and I think what it says is it's on, yeah, it says it's on 1512. I don't know if you can see that in the middle, um, which means that I have 48 calories spare. Um, I'm not exactly like on the number. So basically I don't mind like if I go 50 calories under or 50 calories over, like more than likely I will go 50 calories over. But yesterday I was like, 20 calories under or something so what I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a bath I'm gonna get into my pajamas I'm gonna make my lunch for work tomorrow and get everything kind of tidied and sorted and then I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea which is only like 12 calories and I'm also gonna have a bag of popcorn um so I'll show you that later on when I actually have it but it's like popcorn can be really low calories so it's just like a little bag of sweet kind of sweet popcorn from Morrison's I think it's like 60 calories or something like that so I will go over my calories a little bit but that's fine but I thought um just to mention that like I know my calories are low um 
and I have been at these cal this like calorie goal before and that was the only time I actually managed to like successfully lose weight over you know and actually stick to it um it isn't a sustainable amount of calories to be on for like a long period of time and it's not good to be on that low but this is what I'm kind of aiming for for like the next three or four weeks and then obviously I can adjust to however I want to but yeah it's just what works for me right now. So I will keep you updated. I will film another one of these next week and every week I'm gonna have different foods that I eat, different breakfast, different lunch, different tea um, time meals. My puddings will probably be quite similar, but who knows, I might switch it up. But anyway, I will end the video now. I will insert a little clip over the top of my popcorn and my cup of tea. But apart from that, thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you want me to film more of these what I eat in a day videos. And if you've got any questions or anything, please let me know. The last time that I went on a weight loss journey, I lost two stone. And with this kind of process I'm doing now, I would like to lose about one stone maybe one and a half um because obviously i have gained weight since before um and i just want to get fitter and i want to eat more vegetables so like my goal isn't just lose weight like it's to eat a lot more vegetables especially fruit like i want to eat a lot more fruit um to have more variety and also to just kind of think a little bit more about what i'm eating and why and not just like oh let's just eat this for the sake of it and also to improve my cardio because I don't really enjoy cardio I did a 35 minute run yesterday and I was actually proud of myself because I did all right with it like it wasn't too much of a chore for me but I just want to enjoy it a little bit more because I really love toning workouts but when it comes to cardio like I just cannot be bothered so I want to get back into kind of liking that and be consistent with working out and um, for me working out isn't really something that I have to be motivated for it's just part of my daily routine so it's become a habit and it's fine for me but cardio and running that is a bit more tricky but we shall see anyway thank you for watching please subscribe and i will see you in my next video which will probably be a cleaning video and then another what i eat in a day bye